Hi, Chris here with you from Master Marine up in Mount Vernon, Washington. We're showcasing right now a 23 Venture Sea Dory. This is one of the boats that we will have for our Seattle Boat Show this year. I want to just walk you around some of the features of this particular boat, this particular brand. If you are from the Northwest or have been around here for a while, you probably recognize the Sea Dory brand. Very, very popular. They've been built here in the Northwest for decades and you still see many of the older sea dories running on the water. They've always been built with really high quality and the company that builds them today up in Bellingham, Washington continues to build them with that really high quality. They're known for being rugged. They're known for being a fantastic pocket cruiser. What does that mean? That means they don't sit super deep in the water. You can get this boat into places that you cannot easily get a traditional V-hole boat. It also is very, very fuel efficient. Because it doesn't sit super deep in the water, that engine on the back doesn't need to work as hard to push the boat. So traditionally in something like this, you will get a lot less fuel burn and a lot longer range on one tank of fuel. You'll notice a few things on this boat. Number one, you've got a very big uh, V in the front. You've got a nice bow rail here and a nice rise on that bow. But as you work your way back to the transom here, that V flattens out, making it very, very efficient on the water. A few things you ought to know about the Sea Dory brand. They make several different lines of boats. This Venture Series boat has zero wood in the construction of it. Its structure is a foam composite. It takes on no water. You could actually screw a hole through here and the water will enter the hole but will not spread throughout. So this is a very, very stable craft. Years down the road, you're not going to find your traditional wood rot problems that you find in a lot of boats that have wood construction, wood stringers. This boat here is powered with a 90 horsepower Mercury. It's rated for up to 150 horsepower, but 90 horsepower moves this boat just fine has ample room if you wanted to mount a kicker on it. You could even go and mount twin outboards on this particular setup. This is a very popular boat here in the Northwest to get back and forth in a lot of these little alcoves or bays in which there's not a lot of deep water. This is a very popular boat for our customers back east that want to do the Great Loop traditionally known as a boat that can go pretty much anywhere. Here in the deck of the Sea Dory we've got uh, the entrance into the cabin. Got enough room back here for a fantastic cruise around the Puget Sound Islands. Whether you're going to store some crab pots up top, throw them over and cook your crab here in the back, everything's possible with this. You could even outfit this with downriggers and do fishing from this. A couple of deck chairs back here and you've got a great place to sit underneath the sun or underneath the stars while you're camping out here in the, in the right. islands. Coming into the cabin here, your dinette here, you've got seating on one side, you have your galley on the other. This particular model is outfitted with a freshwater tank. You've got a Wallace stove and heater. This will provide ample heat for you in here with the door closed on some of these colder winter and spring days out on the water. You have a small refrigerator here. It's an AC-DC refrigerator, it runs on 12 volts, will also run on your shore power. And you have a V-berth here, comfortable enough for two full-grown humans. At the helm here, we have the controls for the main motor. Have a comfortable helm seat. We have storage underneath, storage along the sides. All of your access to all of your electronics and your panels and your switches is all located here for easy access so that you don't need to be up and around in a lot of different places while you're moving this boat around on the water. Up on top here, you got a great headliner. You have overhead lights as well as a good hold rail here so that when the seas do get a little bit rough, you've got something where you can steady yourself inside here.